Okay, so in this video, we're gonna use some fonts. We're gonna actually um, find some fonts that we like and download them and then um, see how we use those in Cricut Design Space and then just a few tips and tricks that go along with using uh, fonts inside Design Space, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna show you is you can go out and find fonts at websites like Defont or Font Bundles or if um, you happen to be in a Facebook group like this one here, um, free SVG files and fonts, and they give you a suggestion for a font, this is how you would go ahead and get that font and then use it in your Cricut Design Space. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to this Defonts, and I could actually search it right here if I wanted to, and it would give me the font that I want, and we're gonna do I Love Glitter, because it's super popular. It just pulls up another Google search, and then I could click on the name of it, and it would take me in. And then once I'm here, um, I can just click this download button. I'm not going to download this just because I've already got this font on my laptop. Um, and I'll show you how I installed that and then how um, to access it in uh, Cricut Design Space in a second. I'm actually going to do download a different font and walk you through that process. But just so you know, this is one of those ones that's super popular. And this is how you could go about finding it. You could also just search right here on... Um, Defont. So let's just say I want a KG font. And oh, that's for the, the preview. Sorry. So if you wanted to see what it looked like, you would put it in here. So I could say um, mother and then let's make it large and submit. That wasn't the search box. That's over here. Okay, so it shows you what that font looks like once you're using it. Um, there are also all these little swirly gigs and things that go with it, and it tells you uh, which keystroke it is that gives you those things when you come to this site for her font. So if I were to use um, the, the lowercase dash, it would actually give me this heart, swir this heart swoosh, okay? Or if I were to use this up and down um, space key, or I don't even know what that thing's called. It's like the vertical dash. Um, it would be a filled in heart swoosh, okay? So if you're unsure of which um, characters to use to make a design, you can always come back to this font on Defont. Let's say I wanted to search for a different one like KG Penmanship. Oh, she's not listed on here. Um, let's try something called Carrot Cake. Oh, I'm like batting 100 today on fonts that are available on Defont. Anyway, um, you can do a search up there if you know what you're looking for. Otherwise, you just end up spending a ton of time browsing. Okay, this one took me to an ad. Um, let's just go to new fonts here. Okay, so this is how you browse to font. And you can download right from this, or if you want to see what the characters look like in a font, then you click on it to go in and see. So let's say we're interested in this one. I can click on it and then it'll give me a preview of what the different characters look like and what happens when I type some of these different characters that aren't as common. Like brackets are actually gonna turn into these like swooshy things. Um, and I can um, see what it looks like when I say I love fonts. And let's use a bracket just for fun. Okay, and then it shows you right here what it looks like when it's typed out. Okay, and then two different brackets made two different designs. Okay, this one has more of the dots in it. So that's Defont, and then you would just click download and it would go into your downloads folder or wherever it is that you store downloads on your device. Okay, um, I was floating around in this group the other day and saw this goodies one that I really wanted to try. And so I'm gonna go over here to Font Bundles, which is what she's linking here. Um, in this case, this is her affiliate link, and I've already got my own affiliate link, so I just went over to Font Bundles to, to find that font, and it is called um, Goodies. Okay, so I'm just going to come over here and search Goodies. I think this might also be where I got the Carrot Cake and a couple other fonts that I use frequently. Okay, so currently this one is free. There, it also shows you other fonts that you, you would have to pay for, and the, the price is usually here at the bottom. So I'm going to just click this one, and I'm going to tell it Download Now for Free. And you'll see that it comes down here into my download bar. This is actually Google Chrome showing you that. And if I come over here to my actual downloads, it shows right here font bundles from goodies. And I'm going to double click it to extract it. I could also right click and then tell it um, extract. I don't even, I don't ever even use that on my Mac. I don't even know if it's an option anymore. Um, 
Okay, and then I usually just throw this part away because it's a duplicate. And then when I go into the font, it shows that there's um, regular OTF and then regular TTF. And it looks like there's a lowercase and an uppercase. And it looks like um, this one's got more of a swoosh and this one doesn't have a swoosh. Um, so this is called Goodies Alternate Alternate 2. Okay, so you've got options with this one. You don't have to install all of these. Choose if you want OTF or TTF. Um, really for design purposes, I haven't seen much of a difference. Um, this is like a true text font and then this is, I, I looked it up one day and I can't remember what it is. Oh, only the family. So it's open type, okay? Ending signifies postscript flavor open type, while TTF now indicates true type flavor, okay? Um, yeah, they both still go into your um, your font book on a Mac the same, and into your fonts on a on a desktop or a PC the exact same. So. Um, if you're a graphic designer, you'll choose OTF. Otherwise, you don't. You'll choose TTF. Usually, if you're doing like um, web design and things like that, or not web design, but the actual like coding or using a font on a website, you would use the TTF for graphic design. You use OTF. Whichever one you install or it comes with is you're going to be just fine for us. But in this case, I'm just going to install the OTF. So I'm going to click these, and then I'm going to double click on them. And you'll see that um, my computer just pulls it up into this little box and I just tell it install font. And it's now it's in here. I've got the goodies alt and I'm going to install this font. And it looks like it might not be reading some of those swooshes and numbers. Okay, so all three are now installed. I've got goodies, regular, they're all regular. Um, sometimes you'll see that there's regular italic, bold, and bold italic. It just depends on what the font is providing to you. Um, a lot of times these ones that you get online like this are just going to be regular. Every now and then you'll get lucky and get a bold or an italic, but not very often. Okay, so now that's available for me to use. It is now in my files, and if I wanted to, I could just delete this too because it's already saved in the back memory of my computer. Okay, so that's how you find the font to use. Now we need to open up Cricut and actually use it. Okay. So we're going to pretend that we're doing a project here and you don't have to do anything extra special to now use that font. You only had to install it on your device. So if I wanted to type text here and let's just, I love glitter was the font that we were looking at before. Let's move this up over here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can click up here once I have to highlight. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to highlight the text that I want to change. So I'm going to click on I Love Glitter and then I'm going to click on Font. And you'll see that it's showing all of these fonts. And when I'm looking at this font, it says $4.99 multi layer cutting. <clears throat> and it's giving me the option to download. These are all Cricut fonts that are showing right now. And you'll your and my system font so this would be like one that's already on my laptop and you can tell that because right here it says all so if i want to look at just the things that are available by cricut i can click on cricut and it shows me all of their fonts that are available for purchase or i can click on system and it shows me all the things that i've downloaded on my device for free or purchase okay and in this case i'm searching for the glitter one and it's one that i've done on my own device so it, it's just going to show up here it's not going to say cricket or anything like that and I click it and it'll change this font okay I'm going to set this aside for just a second while we do one more we're going to do that goodies one so we're going to click text again and I'm going to type in goodies and it's going to be in the glitter font for a second until I come up here to font and change it and this time I'm going to type in goodies um, what is it called is called goodies and it's installed so why is it not showing up it might be because I started my Cricut my design space before I downloaded that so let's do this uh, file let's just see if it pulls it because it needs to refresh I don't want to have to restart it that'll take forever 
yeah, there it is. So I just needed a new window. It hadn't, it wasn't pulling um, the new font because this window needed to be refreshed. And I don't know if there's a way to refresh this. Let's just see. And I just did Command R and it's gonna give me a whole new project. So we lost the other one, we'll start again. Okay, so I love glitter. And we'll change this to I love glitter. So note to self, download all of your um, your fonts that you wanna use for your project before you start the project or save it and then come, like go out of Cricut Design Space and then come back into it because otherwise it's not gonna recognize those. Um, fonts that you've just installed. Okay, and then this one's going to be goodies, and now it should show up because we refreshed our page. Um, let's do, we've already got a script, so let's do this one. Okay, so there's the goodies font, and then this is the I Love Glitter font, and you'll notice that this one is like two spaced out. So this is a script and you want it to cut as one word. Like you want love to be one word and glitter to be one word. So um, we have to do a little bit of finagling with this. And so this is where the working with text inside design space comes in. Um, when I click on this, it's all one unit and it goes together. And when I go to click on make it, it's probably going to be, yeah, it's keeping it together, which is good. But, um, it's not how I want it to be. So I'm gonna go back and change it. Let's see, um, cancel. Okay, so for this font, I am actually going to ungroup, which means now all of these letters are separate all by themselves. And then I can click on a letter and just use my arrow key or I can use um, this position and um, it's gonna be either X or Y. Y is gonna go up and down, X is gonna go left to right. And I can just kind of move its orientation over a little bit. And it's probably easier just to use your arrow keys, but if you needed to be a little bit more precise, you could use that um, location thing or this position. And you can also um, zoom in to make it just a little bit more precise. Click and drag helps too but zoom in if you're feeling like you can't really see what you're doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna drag all these over and then I'm going to regroup or attach because I want them to all cut together first time as one thing. And I don't care if love gets like cut separately, I just want to make sure that all this gets cut together. And I don't really like the way that that E is going to connect to that T, but, oh, there we go. Let's do it that way. There we go. So now it looks like we actually wrote it in cursive. So highlight all of them and click attach, and that'll keep them together when they actually go to the um, Cricut machine to cut. Okay. Um, same thing if you wanted this goodies to be closer together or more spread out, or maybe you want to put a dash in there, but you forgot to. So you can um, ungroup them and select these three and slide them over and then maybe add like a shape for your dash or whatever. Maybe this font didn't have a dash available, so we'll just make our own, right? Oops, we gotta unlock, drag, and we'll just put that right there. So now these will all, I can group this together again and attach. Group will hold it together, but it won't cut it together. Let me show you what I mean. So. Let's go group and then let's go to make it. And see how now it says Siruj. Okay, and our dash is up here. It didn't hold all of our stuff together. It didn't hold our eye with our love glitter either or keep it in the same order. Cricut shoves it all up here in this corner so that it saves you material, uh, which is great. But in this case, we want our fonts to be printed a certain way because we're going to put it on a shirt or it's going to go on a tote that way, right? So let's go back and we're going to cancel this make. And then let's say I want it to be like, I love, let's make the love a little bigger. I love glitter. And glitter, we want to be the same size as the whole thing right there. Okay. And then we attach them. And we attach these. And now when we go to make it, 
the I Love Glitter stays in the format that we put it in and so does goodies, okay? Um, so that's how you actually download a font, install it on your device, uh, Mac or PC for a computer, and um, then how you alter your text once you're in the canvas and using Design Space. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe, share with your other crafty friends, and let me know if you would like any other tutorials. Thanks for watching.